Hello, my name is Dr. Oliver Howes and I'm a psychiatrist in London. And I wanted to talk about the problems we have with our current antipsychotic treatments. So we've currently got more than 20 different antipsychotics licensed and available in the clinic. So you would think we've got plenty of choice and lots to offer our patients. However, in reality, we know that about a third of patients are treatment resistant to our current drugs. And we know that two thirds to three quarters find them difficult to take long term and actually stop them over the long term because of side effects or problems with the, the lack of efficacy. So actually, what really transpires is that we've got lots of choice, but little that we can really offer our, our patients if they don't get better and tolerate that first drug. And the reason for this is because all our current drugs, with the possible exception of clozapine, essentially work in the same way. They're all D2 dopamine receptor blockers. And this actually not only means that we don't have choice in terms of mechanism of action, but it also is, is linked to some of the side effects that our patients find so difficult to cope with, particularly in the long term. So side effects like Parkinsonism, tardive dyskinesia, akathisia, hyperprolactinemia, these are all linked to the dopamine receptor blockade and hard to avoid with, with our current treatments. This, I think, highlights the need that we have for, for new uh, and alternative approaches to treating schizophrenia, approaches that will offer us a different mechanism of action, but also a different side effect profile that will be better tolerated for our patients. Because even on top of the dopamine receptor side effects that we get with our drugs that we've got at the moment, another big problem we have is, is metabolic side effects. And these are major causes of, of uh, tolerability issues for patients, but also risks for, for their long-term health as well. So we really need alternatives to our current strategy of D2 blockade.